Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen and viewers at large. My name is Jane. We are from MC Mayala Ward. This is our area. And we are here holding uh, just a brief meeting as we proceed to the grounds where we are holding prayers. Prayers that are thank, thanking God for this far is our Ebenezer. That the Bibi issue that has been all over is the same, is the sole reason why we are here. And together with our honorable members, our learned friends, and uh, including our friends and supporters who are here or absent, we are here just to support and to, to uh, kind of uh, be solid. We, we are looking for solidarity as our people are being oppressed at the ground. And we need to tell them that what has been going on has not been uh, uh, very good. It has really oppressed them both, both emotionally and physically. And we believe that with this team, we have the Gemma, Father, the Mount Kenya jurist, the media, and every other person who is supporting us, we are sure to win this battle. It has just begun, we even know today that the Askaris are all over, but we still believe that this we have started, we are going to win. So I want to thank you and even tell everybody, take courage, this is just a beginning, and we are surely going to win. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you, members of the, <coughs> for the state, as it has clearly been captured by the member of the county assembly, representing the oppressed and the downtrodden people of um, the BB area. I am here in the capacity of an advocate representing the accused persons in court in the matter that is going on lobby. We also say that came to a when Nabos Aham that the Lord that I give you the chance of my statement is going to honorable excellence Jimmy Wanjiki will speak further to that talk but the message today will not touch the inheritance Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Members of the press, uh, His Excellency Jimmy Wanjigi, uh, elected MCS, and the media. We have a very simple message. Maybe for those who are wondering what we are saying, 5,000 acres of government land have been appropriated to a single individual in the name of the president. And this land previously was occupied by Kenyans who know no home, who knew no home, and who have never been identified with any piece of land in Kenya, except the one in contest. They have cried to Kenyans, they have cried to the government, they have cried to the media, but friends of the BB owners have come, and we are coming here. Sadly, because we are aware that uh, close to 500 members of National Police Service have been uh, asked to barricade the area against holding of prayer. This is contrary to constitutional rights of assembly, constitutional rights of exercising faith of one's choice. Today's event is about thanksgiving ceremony presented by the MCA. We want to tell them they have friends, they have warriors, they have valiant men and women standing for them. Be not afraid. Not now, not tomorrow, not any day. I want to give this chance to the captain to come and strike the nail while it is hot. Jim uh, Good afternoon, uh, members of the Fourth Estate. Thank you for coming. Firstly, let me say I'm very humbled to be here. <clears throat> very much at the invitation of the WDP, led by the very able MCA, who is here by my left side. This is a tragic case. On a day when we should be mourning our good general, I want to extend a condolence message to him and to his family from here, David. This is a very sad day because we've come for prayers, simple, humble prayers of thanksgiving for what has been clearly an oppression of the people of David. This oppression we have never ever seen since the time we are colonial. 
during the time of ukoloni the mzungu mubeberu himself was very good at telling us we raise the bible and close our eyes and once we closed our eyes he took out a gun and took our land when we opened our land was gone here in dabibi the member of parliament called jane kihara identified the oppressor identified the colonizer the colonizer here is one william samoy ruto who took the same bible swore an oath to the people of kenya that he shall protect their life and property and when we opened our eyes after that oath it seems that he's taking their property this will not be allowed it is unconstitutional and we have come here to pray to god that god helps us in this battle we are his warriors in this battle for the smallest man in kenya starting from here tabibi we are not going to relent we are going to the ground we want to see what those policemen have in store for us the journey ahead is with god's light we are confident that we shall achieve what we came here for the prayers that we came for as antenisas Zanguni tumefika hapa leo Dabibi Naibasha kwa sababu tunaambiwa kuna mkoloni ambao amechukua ardhi na wengi ya wananchi wa Dabibi huyo mkoloni tuliwaambiwa na mbunge wa hapa Jen Kehara huyo mkoloni tuliambiwa anaitwa William Samboy Ruto hii adi ya dabibi ni adi ya watu wa dabibi wengi wao walizaliwa hapa kuna mzee ambao namjua yule mtoa akiwa huko industrieli limani mzee wa miaka sabini chabini alizaliwa hapa dabibi tumekuja maombi nitasaini sorry miaka 90 tumekuja hapa kuomba siku tukingine tumekuja kuomba na watu wa David na tunaambiwa Asante ni maybe uh, have you identified any, any other cases of um, top government officials who have been acquiring land Apart we have identified what we like to call major land grabbing in Kenya. And this scheme is deliberate. It is happening even as far as Masabi. But I don't like to involve other people. You know they say the fish rots from the head. Look at the head of government because you're asking about government officials. The head we know him that is where it is rotten. Once it's rotten there the whole fish is rotten. And that's a problem. We have started here in Dabibi, but we'll be traveling to different places, including that Masabit, where we know land has been grabbed for our mineral wealth that is there. We are going to go to Kilgoris. We are going to go to Kadiado. We are going to go to Taita Taveta on this singular issue and many other parts of this nation. Maybe how do you seek to help the residents of Dafifi We have uh, already gained the land? It is their land. And the fortunate thing is that um, if you had what uh, the Mashua had said, Jane Kihara, she said that this property was bought through a man called Benjamin Kipule. And Benjamin Kipule had a case in court with the WB people last year, a case with which he lost. He lost that case. He could not prove ownership. This land is owned by the WB people. So how we have helped them is the following. We are helping them in their court cases. That's why we come for Thanksgiving. We managed to get a lot of cases removed, and we got many people out of remand. And we are helping them with their court cases. We are also helping them in the cases of making sure that nobody can come and take their property. And this is Dabibi. We intend to do that all over this country, because we still believe in the rule of law. 
some of us. And we expect those in authority to obey the orders of the court. The court, for example, there is a court order that says the police should not be on that property. We don't know what they are doing there. We don't know what GSU is doing there. They say they are protecting a VIP's property. They have no business being there. The court has ordered them out. And that's what we are coming. We are coming to pray. We are coming to pray, to reinforce with prayers those court orders. Sante, Sante. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank